Frank Lampard is one of the greatest midfielders the Premier League has ever seen and his achievements speak for themselves. He's won the Premier League, he's gone on to win the Champions League as well as the Europa League. There is nothing that this man hasn't won. But the same can't be said for him as a manager after getting sacked from Chelsea and most recently Everton for leaving them in the bottom three of the Premier League. He really hasn't had a good time being a manager. And that's why he's enlisted my help to take him on the journey to becoming the world's best manager. But after his performance at Everton, no club in Europe actually wants him. They've taken no and they've decided to stay away from him. Fortunately, there was one team willing to give him a chance. New York City FC, Frank Lampard's former club at the end of his career, have decided to take a chance on him and it is now our job to make sure that they don't regret it. So after taking a quick look at this squad, these two players that really stand out to me, Rodriguez and Tales Magno. Other than that, this team is screaming for improvement. We've been given 28 million to do this. And so I bought in three players, Dako Nemgene for 8.5 million, Sami Handanovic for 780,000 and Alberto Moreno for 6.7 million. And on top of that, I brought back Valentin Castellanos back from his loan. And this is the new and improved New York City FC team. Frank Lampard has set us a target to win Major League Soccer. And with the team looking how it is, I'm pretty sure we've got a decent chance. Whilst Lampard hasn't done well in England, in America, he had the dream start. Castellanos... He's a one on one with the keeper. Can he make it 1 0? And yes, he can. Frank Lampard's first goal in charge of New York City, and it goes to Castellanos. Talos Magno, he's got a bit of room. Can he spot the run from Castellanos? He's one on one, all alone on his own. Oh, hang on. He spots Rodriguez. Rodriguez makes it 2 0. I tell you now, this team's going to be a problem this season. And there's Frank Lampard's first win in charge of New York City FC. Hopefully, that's the first of many. And it was the first win of many as we well and truly found form in the MLS. Pellegrini, oh my lord, he sees back post, Magnus, and that is 1-0 to New York City FC. Prime time for a counter-attack here, Magnus, he's picked the ball up, halfway line, he's got the pace to do everybody, look at this pace from Magnus, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, can he put it away? Of course he is, he is a problem, Magnus is. Magnus has picked the ball up. Oh my lord, look at him go. He's all on his own. He has been an absolute star for us so far this season. And our form didn't stop there as we picked up three consecutive wins. And in our first season in charge, we have made it to the MLS Finals where we'll play against Sporting Kansas City. Not a bad start in my opinion. Kansas are a good side, but they just aren't on our level. Tell us Magno, he's got the ball. Oh, what a ball through to Castellanos. And what a goal. Keaton... Back to Magnos. Magnos, oh my lord. He's going to go all the way. No, he is not. He's going to square it. And that's 2 0. And it's not even half time yet. Pellegrini through to Castellanos. Castellanos is away from the defenders, all on his own. Can he make it three? Oh my god, we are wiping the floor with Kansas. And in our first season in charge, we have won the MLS with New York City FC. Lampard couldn't have asked for a better season. However, I feel like we've got to stick around at least one more season before we're ready for Europe. We definitely have a reason to stick around now. We didn't win the US Open. We've won the MLS. Before we leave, we've got to win the US Open. But the important thing is we hit Lampard's targets as we won the MLS. We're in high spirits at the start of season two. We're reigning champions of the MLS. The team is looking pretty damn strong. All we've got to do now is just improve upon it. And this time we've been given 44 million to do so. And I only bought two players in that transfer window. Hugo Lloris for 5 million and Jonathan Klaus for 25 million. And with the new signings into the squad, we were ready for the new season. But not only does Lampard want to win the MLS this season, he also wants to win the US Open as we missed out on that last season. How good our team had become, it was no surprise that we had a strong start. Rodriguez. Can he find that ball to Magno? Oh, look at Magno go. He's leaving everybody for dead. One on one with the keeper. Can he pick up where he left off last season? And obviously he can. Rodriguez found Magno. Magno is going on a mad one. Magno, look at him go. Oh my lord. Magno's going to go all the way. And he's gone all the way, picking up where he left off last season. Castellanos and Magno this season are going to be unbelievable again. A very comfortable 2 0 win to start this season off. Hopefully, that set the tone for the remainder of the campaign. And it certainly did, as we went on an absolute warpath against every team we played against. And we were hoping to keep this going into the cup game against Colorado. Pellegrini's got the ball. Castellanos, can he find Pellegrini? Pellegrini's in behind, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can he make it 1-0? Of course he can. Was it ever in any doubt? Pellegrini, 
One, two. Look at Pellegrini go. Oh, my Lord. Pellegrini's away. He's got the pace. Can he make it 2-0? Of course he can. And with that win over Colorado, we make it to the round of 16 against Cincinnati. Magno's on the ball. He's got the pace to do everybody. He's on his left-hand foot. Can he make this 1-0? Oh, just Magno is too good. Magno won the penalty. He's got chance to make it a brace. Can he get the second goal? Of course he can. This is Magno we're talking about here. Castellanos is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper to put us through to the next round of the US Open. Of course he did. We're doing well on all fronts this year as we are cruising in the MLS as well. But our next stop was against Red Bulls in the quarterfinals of the US Open. Zaylan's picked the ball up. He's found Castellanos. Zaylan once again. Can he find Magno on the run in behind? Look at this for a bit of play here. Oh my lord. What a goal. What a goal. And as we're nearing the end of the season, it is clear who the best team in the Eastern Conference is. But our work wasn't done just yet as we were in the semi-finals of the US Open against Minnesota United. He's all on his own. He's away from the defenders. Right, we're going to play it cautiously. We're going to get the sweaty goal. And we have made it 1-0 in the semi-final. Tell us, Magno. Oh, what a ball. Oh, my Lord. What a ball. Surely... 2-0. We have got to be in the final. And there we have it. We are in the final of the US Open. We are so close to getting not only Frank Lampard's second MLS, but his first US Open. And in the final, we will face off against Chicago Fire Football Club. If we win this game, we have done everything we can possibly do in America. And it didn't take us long to get the upper hand. Magno's got the ball. He's all on his own. Look at the space he's got. And we're going to play it safe. We're going to go across goal. We are going to score a sweaty goal. And we are 1-0 up inside 15 minutes. So the chance to get a second goal for New York City FC. And of course, I mean, was it ever in any doubt? Zealum, he's found him. He's found Castellanos. Look at that for a goal. Oh my God, that's surely the game dead and buried. And there we have it. We have won the US Open. We've just got to win the MLS itself. And then we've got the double in America. And we are one game away from doing that as we've made it to the MLS finals and we're facing off against none other than the Portland Timbers. Allegrini, look at this play. For, oh, look at this play. Look at this play. Oh my God. Portland, you didn't stand a chance. Klaus, he spots that run. Look at that for a pass. Kasten, oh my. Just... And that's it, the double is secured. We have finally won the US Open and we won the MLS twice on the bounce. I think personally, Frank Lampard's work is done in America and I think it's time for a change. As we improved New York City FC, so did our reputation grow as Benfica took notice and appointed Frank Lampard as their new manager. Just take a look at how much better this team is compared to New York City FC. You've got the likes of Enzo Fernandez, Rafa and David Neres, just to name a few. But now it's our job to improve this team even more. And to do so, we have got £39 million to spend. And I decided to only buy two players, Yassine Bounou for £17.9 million and Harry Maguire for £15.7 million. And now that the team looks like this, we are ready to take control over Benfica. But I haven't told you why they wanted new management. Benfica are currently third in the league, eight points behind Porto. As well as that, they got knocked out in round one of the Portuguese League Cup. And on top of that, they finished rock bottom of Group A in the Champions League. And with mine and Frank Lampard's success in America, they wanted us to bring that into this Benfica side. And our first game in charge was against Bo Vista FC. Moose has got the ball. Oh, look at that. He's left the defence for dead. He's going to have a shot. Oh, my God. I think I found my new striker. David Neres. Look at that ball over to Joe Mario. He spots the cross in. First time. Oh, look at that for a team goal. Rafa's on the ball. He's got the pace to do absolutely everybody. Look at him go. He's left everybody for dead. And he's going to make this 3-0. It was never in any doubt. As soon as he was away, it was a goal. And there's the first three points as Benfica manager in our back pockets. Frank Lampard's debut as Benfica manager went extremely well. And hopefully we can keep this going till the end of the season. Because if you hadn't already noticed, our target this season is that title. David Neres into the box. Look at that for a goal. Musa man, what a goal. Look at this from Musa. He's absolutely leaving the defenders for dead. One on one with the key. It, and that is never in a million years going to be a mess. Jao Mario on the penalty. Chance to take us 1-0 up and of course he will take it. Man, we are just too goddamn good. But our biggest challenge was yet to come as we now faced off against Portuguese giant Porto. But Porto were far more up for it than we were. 
Oh my god, Pepe's through. The through. Oh my god, no. That is not the start we needed, Porto. I've just run right through our defence. Kevin Vaughan with the free kick. We need to keep it on form here, otherwise this could be 2-0. Oh my god. Porto is 2-0 up inside half and now it. What is going on with our team? We surely can't concede another free kick, man. Not from the same freaking position, please, no. Oh my god. We are getting torn apart by Porto. We've just lost 3-0 to Porto, and if I'm not mistaken, that's Lampard's first loss as a manager since we've been helping him out. Hopefully, this isn't one of many, though. And that loss proves significant in the end as Porto do go on to win the league by four points. We did finish second, however, but next season, we want that title. We didn't win the league, which means we didn't hit the target that Lampard set out for us at the start of our tenure as Benfica manager. However, there is always next season. So looking at the team, we need to improve this defensive lineup as good as it's been in the past season if we want to not only challenge for the league but the champions league this season we definitely need to brush up on that defense and i bought two players in that transfer window the first one being matthias ginter for 29 million and also adria pedrosa for 25 million as well and with the team looking like this we were primed for a new season the objectives this year set by lampard are very bold he not only wants to win the league and the league cup he wants to reach at least the semi-finals of the champions league i know we've been doing pretty well frankie boy but we might be back off a bit more than we can chew but in our first game we face off against reigning champions porto are they gonna once again absolutely dismantle us or is it gonna be a different story jam mario's on the ball look at all this space jam mario's got can he make it one nil of course he can we are one nil up against porto and it was a totally different story as we ended up banging four goals past porto and that is full time in our first game of the season and we wipe the floor with the reigning champions porto if we play like that all season season this league title is in the bag in other news we're in group c of the champions league with the following teams and we've got to watch out because that is a pretty tough group but even in the champions league we were dominating there as we've got a bit of room can we find musa musa's on the run can he get the pace can he has he got the pace oh my god can he take it all the way of course he can it is musa after all musa's up He's got David Neres with him. David Neres, Florentino, sorry. And we're back to Musa. And Musa makes it 2-0 even in the Champions League. It didn't matter who we played at this point. We simply couldn't stop winning. And halfway through the season, we found ourselves top of the Portuguese League. As well as that, we've topped Group C, even beating Barcelona to that top spot, where we'll now face off against OGC Nice in the round of 16. And trust me when I say we taught them a lesson in football. David Neres passed it to Musa. Musa, can he find Neres on the return? Yes, he can. Neres is in behind. Can he find... Oh, my Lord. What a absolutely amazing goal from Benfica. Ginta has spotted that run for Musa. Musa, we're going to cut inside. And it's Rafi. Can he make this 2-0 inside the first 45 minutes? Yes, he can. Rafa, he sees that ball. Look at Musa go. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he's made it 3-0. And after dismantling Nice in the first leg, it was enough to get us through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League where we'll now face off against Real Madrid and we're already 2-1 up after the first leg. But this is where it all went wrong. Oh, my God, no. No, 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 Bruno. Oh, my God. Bruno Fernandes has made it 1-0 to Madrid and we're equal on aggregate. Oh, no, Madrid are on the course again. Oh, no, Vida Junior. Oh no, boys, we're 2-0 down, we're 3-2 down on aggregate now. This is awful. Well then, just before the hour mark, Real Madrid killed the game. Oh my God, Madrid's away. Edwards is through, he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he has bagged it top right bins. Real Madrid have completely killed the game now. And that's full time. Real Madrid have knocked us out of the Champions League 4-2 on aggregate. They absolutely smashed us in this game. But after that loss against Madrid, we picked our heads up, dusted the cobwebs off our football boots, and we won our last four games of this season, which cemented our place at the top of the league. We are champions of Portugal in only our second season in charge of Benfica. And that's not all, because we are in the final of the tackle. Portuguese against none other than the team that we absolutely annihilated at the start of the season, Porto. We were one game away from getting two trophies at the end of this season and Porto were the only team standing in our way. The question was, were we strong enough to get the double? Rafa, Jao Mario, he spots people in the box. Smallest man on the pitch. Oh my god, Neres. He's just headed it in and we are 1-0 up inside the first 10 minutes. Rafa, 
Can you see that one too? Rafi, he's in behind. Oh, oh, go on. Go on, Rafi. And he's finished it off. It's 2-0 to us. And it is looking like we are getting the double. John Mario. Spot. Look at this play from Benfica. Bar is going to go back inside. John Mario on his left foot. And he has smashed it top right, Benz. Double secured. And there we have it, boys. Benfica are not only the league champions, but they have just won the League Cup as well. It's just proved that Benfica, under mine and Lampard's management, are just mm. levels above everybody else in Portugal. Saying that, we've done everything we can in Portugal. We've won the league title. Now we have won the League Cup. Maybe it's time once again for a new challenge. Lampard's reputation was at an all-time high as teams like Juventus, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid all wanted him to be their next manager. However, but Lampard had only one team he wanted to manage. Frank Lampard has unfinished business with Chelsea and with him proving himself to be a winner, Chelsea have once again given him the reins of Chelsea FC. However, this time we're going to make his run at Chelsea a successful one. And this is the current squad we're rocking with and it's making me consider if I even need to bring any transfers in because look at how good that team is. I genuinely don't think I'm going to bring any new players in. And with that being said, the objective being set to Lampard this season may come as a surprise. They're not asked about the Premier League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, anything at all. They want the champion. League. And with this squad, I am pretty certain we've got a good chance of getting it. We're in our first game of the season against Southampton. Things just weren't clicking with the team. Oh, no. No, Alcaraz is through. Alcaraz is through. He's in behind the defence. And he's made it 1-0. Jesus Christ, our defence went apart there. Southampton on the attack again. What is going on with our defence, man? There's nothing. What is going... Oh, my God. That was fu- What is going on with this team? But well, this bad run of fun continued as we only picked up one point out of the next three games. Which now leaves us 19th in the league after four games. What is going on with this Chelsea team? And our next game is in the Champions League and we are in Group A with these three teams. And quite frankly speaking, how we're playing, I'm terrified of this group. And our former club, Benfica, showed us how to play football. John Mario's on the wing. We know how good he can be. He's into Musa. Musa is giving it to Enzo Fernandez. We can't get near him, really. And oh my God, five minutes in, and our former club Benfica will go 1 0 up. Oh my Lord. He's put in Rafit. Rafit. Oh no, no, no. Oh my God. Benfica, man. This bad run of form continued, and me and Lampard were clueless as to what was going on. We're in the last game of the group stage, and as you can see, we are currently third in the group stage. At this moment in time, we're going to the Europa League. But our final game was against second place Ajax. If we win this, we're into the Champions League round of 16. If we lose, we're in the Europa League. Oh my God, what a ball. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is going on? Adam Lozek has just put it top right bins. A ball over the top, completely taking all of the defenders out. This is unacceptable. But in the second half, we actually woke up and started playing as a team. Sterling, can he spot that run from Ozzy Man? Yes, he can, Ozzy Man. He's in behind, on his own, left foot. Oh my God. It's about goddamn time. I've been waiting all season for something like that to happen. Grimaldo. He's on his own. Nobody's with him. Not even Aussie men's with him. Okay. Can we spot someone not coming in? Have it on his right foot. On his left foot, sorry. And he's made it 2-1 to us. At this moment in time, we are into the round of 16. Boys, thank God for that. We have made it through to the round of 16 by the skin of our team. But we need to make some changes in that transfer window. Okay, let's take a proper look at this team. Now, Aussie men and Avid are going nowhere. They've actually done pretty well for us so far. However, we are leaking way too many goals. So I think we need to bring in a centre back. And as well as that, I am definitely bringing in another winger because Sterling hasn't been doing anything for us. And because we didn't do anything in the first transfer window, we still got 277 million to play with. And I bought three players in that transfer window, starting with Marquinhos for 80 million, bringing back fan favourite David Neres from Benfica for 80 million as well, and bringing back Talos Magno from New York City FC for 35 million. But since I left New York City FC, Magno has gone down and over. What have they done to my boy? But with the new signings, Neres and Marquinhos in the team, I'm hoping that we can actually start playing how we should be. And we had a golden opportunity to see if these transfers made any difference at all as our next game was against Liverpool. Policy each. Can he get away from Arnold? Yes, he can. Pulisic is all on his own. Can he go all the way? Oh, my Lord. What a goal this would be. Pulisic with the solo effort. Oh, my Lord. Where's that been all season? And once that first goal went in, we went from strength to strength. Kai Havertz. He's got the ball. Kai Havertz. Oh, my Lord. On his right foot. Look at this. 
Where's this been all season? Why couldn't we start it like this? That win against Liverpool was the confidence boost we needed as we went on an absolute warpath against every team we played against. Pulisic. Oh my lord, what a goal that is. What a goal. Aussie man, look at him. All alone, in front of goal, of course he puts it away. Pulisic through once again. Look at the pace on Pulisic. He sees Ozerman wide in the box, and Ozerman is never in a million years missing that. I think we're ready for PSG. Well, we better be because they are our next opponent, and they are not going to make it easy for us. But when we needed him, who else was going to step up to the plate? Tamaldo, can you spot Ozerman? Ozerman through to David Neres on the stroke of half time. Can he make it 1 0? Please? He got an answer, but it didn't matter. On the stroke of half time, David Neres has put Chelsea 1-0 up against PSG. And after the first goal went in, we took our game to a whole new level. David Neres through to Ozymhan. Ozymhan is in beyond the defence of PSG. Can he make it 2-0? Oh my god. Ozymhan has made it 2-0. Boys, we are flying. David Neres, can he spot Ozymhan? Ozymhan Look at the pace from Aussie man. Oh my god, no defense in the world can handle him. And he spots that ball across. And that is 3-0. 83 minutes in. Is this enough to put us through to the quarters? And after that PSG win, it became apparent that we finally found the system that works as we couldn't stop winning. And it looks like that first win over PSG was enough to put us through to the quarterfinals where we'll face off against AC Milan and we've already taken a 3-1 lead in the first leg. But that didn't mean we couldn't destroy them in the second leg too. Oh my god, he's surrounded by AC Milan players. Can he make this shot count? Of course he can. This man is absolutely unstoppable. And considering we're not focusing on the Premier League this season, we're still second place. We're not doing too bad at all. But up next in the semi-finals, we faced off against London rivals Arsenal. This is a game we could not afford to lose. Polisic. Can he spot that run from Ozzyman? Ozzyman inside. Kai Havertz to make it 1-0. And he has taken that opportunity. Arsenal put up a great fight, but they just aren't in our league. David Neres, can he spot that run from Ozzyman? Ozzyman is in behind. He has got so much pace. He's got Havertz, but I think he's going to go all the way. And he doesn't need Havertz. He's topped that into the goal. Bottom left corner. And it is 2-0 to us. And then late in the second half, we killed the game dead. Pulisic with the return. Look at that for a ball. Pulisic is away. Can we kill the game dead here? Yes, we can. Arsenal 1, Chelsea 3. Is this enough to get us to the Champions League final? Boys, it's official. We have made it to the Champions League final. We're facing off against Liverpool. We are one game away from making Frank Lampard the world's best manager. The question is, boys, can this bunch of legends right here beat Liverpool to make it happen? Have it. David Neres is on the ball. David Neres... Can he find anybody in the box? No, he's going to go alone. Can he? Oh, that's a great save from Allison. Kai Havertz. Back to David Neres. David Neres. Can he spot that run from Ozyman? Ozyman is in behind. He's in behind. Can he make it 1-0? Oh, my God. Allison again. Ball in. Great ball. Can we get ahead on this? Can we get ahead on this? Oh, my God, man. That has to be on target at least. But for all the saves Allison made, he couldn't save everything. David Neres to Ozyman. Ozyman is in behind. Can he spot Havertz? Havertz, all on his own. He's put it into the goal. Bottom left corner. Pit that out, you net, Allison. And in the last five minutes of the game, who else was going to step up to the plate? Oh, Goretzka. He's found David Neres. He's all alone. Last five minutes of the game. Can David Neres make Frank Lampard the best manager in the world? He looks like he might have just clinched it for us. In the end, Liverpool have got five minutes at best to get back into this game. But that goal from David Neres has surely secured Chelsea the Champions League. Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Chelsea are the champions of Europe. And Frank Lampard is the best manager in the goddamn world. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this banger right here.